the question about when to seek treatment for a shoulder problem is very important. Certainly if you have a tr significant traumatic event, uh, that's a time to see a medical professional, whether it's a walk-in clinic, an emergency room, or your primary care doctor, or an orthopedic surgeon. Because if you have a significant traumatic event, there may be something uh, like a fracture or a rotator cuff tear that needs to be addressed acutely. What's more difficult to figure out is what do you do if you have some aching or soreness? And that's what the most common thing is. I think in those situations, the first thing to do is modify your activities, and that may be resting for a little bit, trying some over-the-counter anti-inflammatory medications, icing the shoulder, doing some stretching exercises, and give it a week or two to see if it settles down. A lot of patients will call the office for an appointment, and they'll say that I started having pain a day or two, and I want to be seen. And when we see them a week or two later, often they're already starting to get better or they're better, and that really represents the natural course of a lot of the things that happen to us as we get a little bit older. There are some red flags that you want to think about, and these are patients who develop severe pain quickly, so acute onset of severe shoulder pain. And these are red flags for unusual problems, such as an infection, which is very unusual in the shoulder, or a neurologic problem that presents with severe pain. Um, also, patients who have complaints of numbness or pain that radiates all the way down their arm, they often uh, have more of a neurologic problem or a problem with their neck than their shoulder, even though there's pain referred to their shoulder. And you know, those are patients who probably should seek medical attention sooner rather than waiting. It's very important for a patient to have an accurate diagnosis of their shoulder problem, particularly if they've already had some treatment or they've had prolonged symptoms. Um, if they re are referred to physical therapy and the physical therapist directs them in the wrong way to do exercises, those exercises may aggravate their problem and prevent them from improving. Uh, and likewise, if they see a surgeon and the surgeon uh, doesn't understand their problem or makes the wrong diagnosis, they may have a, a recommendation for or against surgery that uh, may not be appropriate, or they may actually undergo surgery that doesn't address their actual problem. And this has become more of an issue, I think, recently with the advent of MRI and arthroscopy, which allows us to see things that are there, but not necessarily the cause of symptoms. Uh, as we get older, things wear out, and we're more likely on an MRI to see abnormal findings of the anatomy, and you have to be able to make sure that the abnormal findings associate with the patient's symptoms.